don't know. <laughs> what you, what's in that drawer? <laughs> what is in that drawer? Why you close it? Because you don't need that. Why not? You have to put like glue on and everything. No, I don't know. <laughs> so I don't get to wear lashes today? You have one. No. I have lashes already, so what yeah. you're telling me? Yep. <laughs> what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, D. Lee. And, oh, wait. You don't know me yet. I'm Ms. Barbara's son. And today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to switch it up a little bit. Today, I'm going to be doing her makeup for the first time ever in life. But there's going to be a little slight twist to it. Not only am I doing her makeup, she's going to be asking me a little bit of personal questions so you guys can know a little bit more about me. I'm loving this. I can't wait for it. It's my first time, as I said. Um, this is Beauty and Strength. You know the name. You know the brand. You know the face. And now you get to know one more. So today, at the end of the video, you get to know more about me as well as how the makeup turned out. Don't laugh, but it's my first time. So, I love y'all. Let's get straight to the video. Alright. So, what's in that drawer? I see eyebrow pencils. Okay. I don't know what those are. It's kind of... I don't know what color. Am I doing the eyebrows and everything too? Everything. I gotta take pictures. Oh my god. Let's see. Okay, this is lipstick. No, it's not. Oh. Let me see. That is a lipstick. That's a lipstick? Yeah. And it ain't shaped like a thingy, so I thought it was. Okay. It's a liquid lipstick. Mm. Okay. So all of this is lipstick. Mm hmm. Jesus Christ. Hey, don't judge me. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> And the crazy thing is, to me, they all like the same color. But no, know, they are not. I know. I know. Oh, boy. The palettes, I think. Now, I don't know. I don't know which. Do you want to open these things? I don't know. Is it upside down? I don't want to break it. Mm -mm. Ooh, this is eyeshadow. Okay. So all of these make up too? Mm-hmm. Jeez. Dang, I don't know what brand to get. I don't know. Okay. Let's get all the stuff lined up. I still need the primer, still need the foundation, still need the I don't know the last thing that you put on it to keep the makeup in place. Cause I, I don't see any other place where you would put glitter. Maybe it's up on the cheeks with a blush. Look at his shadow. Jesus Christ. Now I don't know what colors to use. This is going to look terrible. <sighs> oh my God. You don't have to pick something out of every drawer. Okay. So. I just want to make sure I get everything I actually need. And I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What's in that drawer? <laughs> what is in that drawer? Why you close it? Because you don't need that. Why not? You have to put like glue on and everything. No, I don't know. So I don't get to wear lashes today? You have one, Mom. I have lashes already, so what yeah. you telling me? Yep. <laughs> Blush. Yes, I can read that. I think this was here. Definitely gonna need the blush. Okay, cool. Okay, so I think I would probably be able to find the primer in one of these, one of these drawers. Could so be wrong. I remember you talking about one of them being liquid and then there possibly another one, like a spray. There are some primer sprays, yep. And which one would you recommend? Mm -mm. No. No, nope, I think it. Okay. Dang, I was trying to get you right there. I can't. Nope. Ah, uh, actually, I need that. Oh, looks like I'm in the foundation section. Maybe. No, not yet. Hydrating concealer. Now, these are all different shades of color. I'm not sure which one I should pick. <laughs> That's the fun part. What do I use concealer for? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Dark spots? You can use it for that. Um, under the eyes? Mm -hmm. Where do I put concealer? When I use concealer, we were talking about it in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you blend that in? I think 
So is it normally Shit. my skin color? I think so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> foundation, there we are. Okay. Everything in there is foundation. Back to the same thing with the color. I'll help you only because I have summer shades and winter shades. So I remember you talked about that. And then you put a certain amount on here, then you Okay, 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 okay. But that's too light. This one's not. That one's not too light. This one's not. Ooh, okay. Let me We're just going to do this thing. All right, got the foundation. That drawer is highlighters and bronzers. I don't even know what a bronzer is. Okay, so we probably won't use a bronzer today. <sighs> Bam. Is that it? That is cleaning solution. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, no, no. Not that one. It's purple though. That's why you picked it. Yep. Setting mist. Setting. Ah. So you feel like you have everything you need. Let's go through it. All right. First thing first on the left side, I have the setting, which is usually, correct me if I'm wrong or maybe not, use after all the makeup is already put. We have the foundation. I'm not going to explain when, when and where that goes because I don't know. Uh, primer. You have the conceal, yep, concealer. This is an eyebrow brush or a slash pencil. This is the eyeliner. This is mascara for the eyelashes. We have the lipstick, we have the blush, and we have the eyeshadow. So I think we have everything we need. I think I'm just about ready to get started. He does have a little tiny little bit of knowledge about makeup. A little bit, a little bit. Mainly from watching me and then just recently watching some of the videos because he was like, I don't want to look completely ridiculous not knowing what I'm doing. He's going to put them on my face and I hope it looks good because I'm going to keep it like that for the rest of the day. Today is Thanksgiving. What? <laughs> Today is Thanksgiving. So we got pictures to take, tree to decorate. I need to finish cooking, all that stuff. But oh, plot twist. Mm. So what are we starting with? If I remember correctly, you mentioned starting with primer. If I remember correctly. If you know, you know. That's my thing. Bangs on camera. Yes. Did you primer. sponsor it? No. I'm trying to be. Bang, holla at me. <laughs> there are some questions I have to ask, like in terms of how far am I supposed to spray this? I know there's usually like, I don't know how much I'm supposed to spray this. There's no wrong. Yeah. 13 is probably wrong. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> going. Jesus. This is wrong. Okay, I think I'm done. Okay. Am I supposed to rub this in and let it yeah. sit? You can rub it in. You can use the sponge to kind of pat it in. I've not had anybody do my makeup since I lived in Louisiana. Who did it last time? somebody from Mac and I didn't like it. That's not surprising. All right, so let's get to know you. Let's get it. In my open book. What's your name? I don't think I said that. Mm. My name is Donovan Lee, born in Lafayette, Louisiana at 10.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lafayette General. Grew up in Lafayette. Moved around a little bit, but my main home was on the north side, an area, if you're familiar with it, called Brown Park. That's where I would say my roots are. Um, from there, I went to Evangel Elementary School. Then I went right across the street to Acadian Middle. After that, went to Lafayette High for about two years, ended up going to Houston, graduated out here, which I loved. Houston schools are amazing, mainly because of the rules, the dress code. He was like, Mom, I can have my phone at school. Yeah. We don't have to wear. We can wear whatever we want. And I was like, you better put some clothes on. You're not going to school in your pajamas. No, 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 no. I still, I still like to dress up a little bit. Primer. Primer's done. So now we're moving on to... Don't doubt yourself. You said it in the kitchen. The problem is I remember seeing you start with... I think I remember seeing you do your eyes. 
before I do the do rest my of this was done. Sometimes I do that first. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we are using the LA Girl Break Free Eyeshadow Palette, which I have not used yet. Hmm. And he picked it because of these colors. And then I pick red lipstick. We're gonna make it work. You've seen me use a lot of colors. That's so. true. Okay. So do we do anything when you're getting ready to do eyeshadow? You got brushes right here. Man, the brushes. <laughs> what you thought you was gonna use your fingers? No, I just I don't know which ones to use. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm thinking as of a painter, mm -hmm. which I have done a little bit of. Um I'm gonna start with a base color and then I'll use the lid brush to put a slightly dark color and then see if I can kind of blend it outwards towards the base color. Okay. So I think I'm gonna start with that. So I really want to start with this one. Okay. Start with that one as the base main foundational color. Then I'll come in with hmm, another color. I don't know how much of this I'm supposed to be putting on. I don't know how hard I'm supposed to be pushing none of that. So look at the tip of your brush. Oh, I mean, this ain't that hard. So did you say how old you are? Oh, I did not. I am 20 years old. I was born on February 24th of 2000. So I am a 2000s baby, but it's fine. It's, we special. Um, although I don't consider myself part of this current generation because it's full of weirdness. People out here are weird. So we all know powerlifting and makeup are my passion. Mm -hmm. So what would you say yours is? I should use my left. Mine, honestly, is anything that has to do with self-improvement, anything. Whether it's reading, whether it's working out, meditating, anything that would help me overall better myself in terms of health, in terms of mentality, just anything. That's what you're passionate about. Yes, as crazy as it might sound. But because that is my passion, I feel like, can you look right at me? I feel like I am able to expand on a lot of different things due to the fact that I'm so open to learning new things so I've never actually stagnant in life because I'm always willing to learn I love learning it's another thing too if I feel like I know everything that is it sucks it's like winning all the time you never learn because you don't lose one of the things I've learned about life you only lose whenever you actually give up so personally, I got it from Michael Jordan. I don't, I feel like I don't actually lose. I either win or I learn. That's the way I look at life. And I believe that our mentality and overall health is what makes a person successful and overall happy. So that is my passion, more internal. Now, other things I would definitely have to say, sports, I played basketball, um, played some football. Basketball is my number one. Finally played varsity. It took about 11 years, but I, I made varsity. Well, but you didn't actually try out even for the team until high school. Yeah. So. Okay, I think this is good. They look pretty even. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Okay, so I believe I'm done with phase one, which is applying the the main base color, I guess I can call it. I do feel like I put it too high, but hmm, I'm learning. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and put on, I'm going to use the, I think she said the lid brush. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this. I don't know if you can see it all the way. Let's see if people do that on YouTube. <laughs> Put the lid brush on and I'm gonna put a darker color and then try to blend it into the base color. So I was thinking of possibly using this one, but I feel like that might be a little too dark. If this was a live video, I would ask y'all to put it in the comment section. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm ready. Lord, now this. So I'm about to stir the pot a little bit. Tell us what you think about makeup while you're doing this. 
Mom. <laughs> Come on. She had to. Uh, okay. I said it. All right, cool. I'll be honest. When it comes down to makeup, I I love it, but I hate it at the same time. Uh, mainly in the sense that I do believe women are naturally beautiful and don't really need to cover their face in order to feel that way. As I said, I'm more I'm the type of person who's more focused on internal growth. And I feel like being happy is a part of being truly comfortable with who you are. And I feel like makeup is kind of slowly taking away from that aspect. I could be wrong, but I do feel like it might be an insecurity thing. I do know it is very fun for a lot of women and it's an art form, which I completely understand. But what I feel it's a problem when you have to, how can I say it? When you have to put on makeup just to go outside and check the mail, I feel like that's when it becomes more of an insecurity thing. And I think it's a balance. If it's really just fun for you, I love it. But if it's like, I need this to look prettier, I think it's a problem. I know a lot of people would disagree, but oh, this is actually starting to look good. I know a lot of people would disagree. I'm not putting more. But that's just how I personally feel. I could be wrong, but I don't think anybody would disagree when I say women, to me, should be able to feel beautiful without putting something extra on their face. And I think that's just a natural thing. That's what we were born with. I think that's what we should stick with. Makeup is cool, but I don't feel like it's necessary for someone to look pretty or beautiful. That's just personally how I feel about it. Got a lot of arguments in high school, but it is what it is. How do you feel about it, Mom? So, I know that mm -hmm. part of his reasoning is coming from before when I was younger, more in my 20s. For the record, I'm 38. More in my 20s and early 30s. I was one of those people. Not necessarily I had to go check the mail with mail check the mail with makeup on, but I'm not going anywhere outside of my yard without makeup on. Now, for me, as I said in one of my previous videos, I think it was the get to know me or whatever, you know, I've had issues with acne forever and I had really bad scarring, worse than it is now. So to have a family member comment on that and just make me feel very self-conscious and ugly, I was just like, if I can hide this so nobody else can see it and make fun of me or embarrass me or make me self-conscious, then why wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. In my mind, I was always just like, if I can present a better version of myself, why would I not? So that's how makeup started for me. It was never about like, oh, this is fun and the artistry it was to cover. And when he was younger, he used to always, mom, you don't need that. Mom, you don't need makeup. And I was like, leave me alone. I want to wear it. You don't know what you're talking about. So now we get into the face stuff. All right. So next, I think we should start with the foundation. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how much you did say to put, but all I remember is you Oh, that's a brush I used to blend it in? Okay. Did you put them on your finger to start? Mm -hmm. That's probably not enough. Lord, Mom, I don't know what to do with this. This is not enough. Native American. Oh, okay, chin. I know you put some on the cheek. I feel like this is the right or wrong color. They might it's work. foundation, so... That would be the staple for everything. Then you just put the extras in other places, I think. Where does foundation go? All over. Okay. Covers everything. What other questions do you have for me? That looks more orange. <laughs> I know I picked the wrong color. No, it'll, it'll fix. Okay. So tell me a goal you have for yourself in the next year. In the next year for those, well, nobody really knows because I don't talk about it. Ideally, ideally, I don't like to talk too much about my goals. I like to just do them and then talk about it after it's already done. Um, 
I, for those who don't know, I am a Forex trader. I've been doing it for actually a year now, almost a year. It'll be a year in February. One of my goals in terms of that is to get to a point to where I almost have it on autopilot. And for those who don't know with Forex, it is essentially trading different currencies around the world. So you buy it, you sell it, and ideally, when the market is going up or going down, that's when you would make your profit. Anyway, what I want it to be is on autopilot. So I can get it to a place to where no matter what the situation is, no matter what time, no matter what day, I will have 100% security knowing how to do um, my strategy, I guess I can call it. Ideally, in hopefully another year or so, get to that point to where I can just keep putting money into the account and then watching it slowly grow over time. That's one thing I do want to do with that, and that in a whole will be something I want to show to my son. I didn't mention that. I have a son, for those who don't know. What's mom? No, just make sure it's even. I'm trying. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I'm like, mm. I don't know how to do this. If there's spots where you need a little more, just put a little more. Don't put it on the brush or No, just put it on your finger and then dot it where it needs to go. Funny thing is, I've always told Diamond to stay out of my makeup, stay out of my bathroom, don't touch any of my stuff. So today he's like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. And I'm like, how could you not? But then again, maybe because you told him to stay out of it. Lord, now what color brush? Oh, man. This is what he picked for blush. My favorite Natasha Denona palette. And I'm not helping him, so he needs to figure out where it goes. Only thing I'm doing is giving him brushes. I don't expect him to know everything. I just, I don't know. I guess I take for granted that this has started to become natural for me. And so I feel like for as long as you've seen me do it, you should know. But I, yeah, there's a lot of mornings when I was going to school, I would walk in and see her doing our makeup. And I would always ask questions like, where does this go? And what about that? And then, hmm, that all makes sense now. You said you want to do blush next, so where does blush go? Cheeks. Okay. <laughs> Just make a show. Forehead. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so I grabbed another color or another section. He said he wants something that'll match better to kind of have a monochromatic look. So, which one? I'm thinking uh, this one and this one. I'm trying to decide if I want to have a glitter, some type of sparkle to it. No, I don't know how much it is. So he's going with Sola, which is the shimmer shade. And this is my Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Palette, Volume 2. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I already put too much on. Okay. I'm trying to just like lightly press it so it's barely noticeable, but it's noticeable. And we've been talking about doing this for probably a couple months now. Yeah, I'd say so. And he said that he was going to go watch my videos to learn. Left hand. And I think he probably watched when we first started talking about this. I could have watched it a million times, but that wouldn't have been fair because it wouldn't have been a genuine my son does my makeup for the first time type thing if I would have known exactly where everything goes. So I still don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. But I got a general idea. So what are you doing right now? Just some extra stuff that's not found on YouTube anywhere because probably nobody ever does it. Oh. What? Just trying to be spontaneous and creative. I feel like this would kind of spread it out a little bit more mm. instead of trying to add blending. more. Blending. Yeah, blending. Very important. I'm actually impressed with myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I kind of want to keep that because I don't want to do too much to mess it up. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let me put this here. All right, so. Okay, we did the eyeshadow. We didn't do the eyebrows. We didn't do the eyelashes or the lips yet. So I think that's the only thing I have left besides the setter or setting. Is that what it's called? Setting. I'm going to start off with the brush first. Start off with that first just so I can get it in its shape. I've seen her do that a million times. 
So this, I don't want to touch the makeup actually. I'm scared of the eyebrows. That's what makes or breaks a face. <laughs> this is true. This is very true. At least I have eyebrows for you to actually work with. Some people shave their brows completely off. And then you have to make them. I can't see. <laughs> Your face. He was like, like, the hell? Because I thought it would leave more of a line. It's not... Well, I have some that are darker, but I don't want to give you too dark of a pencil. And then you draw one line. And I have a Sharpie brow, so... Mm. Okay. You want a darker one? Mm -mm. I'm actually proud of myself for that. Hmm. Okay. I gotta see what a real mirror. Not bad. Okay. Do you see yourself staying in Houston? Oh, yeah. Like, never gonna move? No. Love really? Houston, yeah. See, like, um, growing up in Louisiana, it was very, very, not plain, but there's not really too, too much. Yeah, it's a lot slower. Yeah. There's nothing really going on besides during the holidays. When Mardi Gras hits, then things just explode. But other than that... Not everybody knows what Mardi Gras is. Oh, that is very true. I don't even exactly know what Mardi Gras is. I don't know. <laughs> he just knows Mardi Gras is parades. I don't know the history behind it, but there is these huge, we call them floats, but I'm trying to find a better way to explain what it is. It's kind of like... A platform with wheels. Basically. And then they decorate it, they decorate it with like masks and people get on them. They play music. They throw beads. Lots of drinking. Lots of drinking. Lots of music. Lots of partying. Lots of gathering. It's like a big party. So ideally, it carries on down a couple streets, but they have barricades along the streets. So the folks would pass through the streets, and as they're passing, they would throw beads to everybody that's behind the barricades. So that's really how that goes. It goes on for a couple hours. Everybody gets drunk. Everybody gets a headache. Everybody goes home. Um, Mardi Gras is actually like weeks. It's not, it's one day. It's the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. But it is literally like weeks of this parade and dog parade and children's parade and king's parade and queen's parade and just... A lot. It is one of my least favorite. I don't like crowds. I don't like the chaos of it. So... I think when I was younger, because I was just like, yay, go party, go get drunk. I liked it, but as I got older and my patience was a lot less, I just, I was over that shit quick. I don't want to. I didn't really care for it too much, but I think now that I'm not there as much anymore, I would love it. I think we kind of take. Are we even? No. Oh. I think. <laughs> it's very hard to talk and do this if you're not mm. used to it. I do cut hair. So I was able to multitask from that aspect. You want to talk about everything when you're cutting hair. Yeah. we When we go to our stylist, that's like our therapy session. I don't know if it's the same with guys, but that's how girls do We more talk about, like, sport. You were in barbershops plenty of times with me. But it was more... <laughs> you hated that. <laughs> that you was in there? Yeah. Yeah, because everybody would flirt with you. You wanna, get so mad. I want to punch him in their throats. Don't flirt with my mom in front of me. What's wrong with you? That shit was hilarious. Yeah, I, it got to the point to where I would just sit in the car and wait, or I would leave and come back. I had a dude one day, we was at uh, an apartment that we used to live in in Lafayette. The dude was like, um, hi, how you doing? My mom we was like, hey. In. And then he was like, single? And she was like, not single. I'm like, this mother... <laughs> no, he actually, you were like... What'd he say to you? And I was like, oh God, darling, calm down. Go upstairs. Like, it's not even that. But that is a long cry away from when he was younger. I was at a gas station one time putting in putting gas in the car and he was in the back seat. Oh yeah, I remember. And this guy came up and was trying to talk to me and I was just like, okay, sir, have a nice day, whatever. And he was like, yo, can I get your number? And this one starts yelling out my phone number to the dude. And I was just like... I remember. Okay, so, got the eyebrows done, I believe. She probably looked like she raised in one of them, but it's okay. 
So now we're gonna move on to the lipstick. Now I believe you start with the liner. Mm -hmm. Got it. So I wanted to do, I didn't realize it, I just grabbed the first thing I saw, red lipstick with purple eyeshadow. So she came up with the idea to use a purple lip liner. I cheated and helped. Yeah. So she wanted to do a purple lip liner to kind of help it blend in and settle more. So we're gonna do that. Definitely not your type of quality. Hmm. You talked about this in your video. You said how there's sometimes when you put on, I think it was a foundation, how it could kind of like crack a little bit. There was something you did, you said that you would do to fix that. And I wish I remembered and I can't. I think you said it was the liquid foundation that would crack. So you would use a powder one maybe? Or I could be wrong. But I think, I feel like you're looking at something. <laughs> I don't know what it was. So you pulled something, but you haven't used it. Okay. I missed the concealer. That's what I missed. Okay. I knew it was something. Okay. Yes, you still can put it. Okay. I'm going to start with the lips. So, you just out on your lips? Mm hmm Okay. I'm Hold sorry. on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm slowly. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're so used to it. You probably just... Mm -hmm. That's actually one of the things I had to learn being a barber. That ain't even even old. Um, we had to learn how to use our left hand. So whenever you're in certain positions, you try to like, like perfect examples right now. When I'm doing the left side of her face, I'm sorry, the right side of her face, I have to use my left hand to get it more accurate. But I can't because... This is something completely different. I haven't tried this before. I don't know how high it's supposed to be. <laughs> what was that? I'm gonna I can't fix see it. what you did. I just saw your face. I'm gonna fix it. That's all I know. At least it's not like hair. Because with cutting hair, you can always take hair off, but you can never put it back. And that's one of the things that they made us really remember. I don't like it. Not one bit. But I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. All right. Lipstick. Where you at? Is this it? Nope. Mascara. I didn't think about the mascara. Jeez. <laughs> now I understand why it takes a minute <laughs> to actually get ready. Mm-hmm. That's why I said there's a specific way you're supposed to put lipstick on. It's mm -hmm. kind of just like chapstick. Mm -hmm. So how is it supposed to blend? Is that just part of how you do... The liner? You can use... Well, once you put it on, then I rub my lips together. Mm, I have an idea. Instead of me putting them up, do you mind rubbing them together now? Just to get... Whoa. That actually filled out really well. <laughs> Holy. Okay. Ooh, that's bright. That actually filled out really well. I'm proud of that. Okay. That filled out really well. I'm proud. Okay. Um, I did skip the concealer. So I'm going to think I'm going to go back to that right now before I forget again. A thing she said was used to cover up like dark spots, acne scars, and something else. But I'm not sure how you would do it. Okay. So now we're going to the concealer. Probably can't see it. But it is the Pro Concealer by LA Girl. So um, I didn't notice how to brush on it. So... I don't know how I'm supposed to use this at all. But I know it's supposed to help with like the foundation kind of cracking. What were we talking about in the kitchen? Where you said you remember seeing me apply it. I thought that was the foundation because I did that exact same with the foundation. That's a concealer. Foundation you put all over the face. Concealer, I only draw the lines where I want. Oh, I remember. You put a, you actually did a few lines here. Um, so then this one you squeeze to make more come out. Just be careful that one initially, yeah. Okay, I want to blend this first so I can get an idea. What do I use for that? I either use a brush or a sponge. So this is how you notice whenever you see some people, they have some parts of their face that's lighter mm -hmm. than the other parts. That's what this is. I see a lot of different shades. 
<laughs> what do you mean? Like just throughout the entire face, I see a lot of different shades. I would actually, I'm actually proud of it, even though the lipstick on the corner not lined as perfectly as I would like it. But it's all good. All right. Next, under the eye. Now, I don't know how much you know what I mean, but that actually helped with that spot I was talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty proud of myself. I can't lie. I can't lie. I'm doing a lot better than I thought. Okay, so concealer is done. I did set it with some powder. I used my RCMA powder because I don't want my under eyes to crease, and they will. But I didn't touch anything else. So we were talking about eyeliner. So we are using NARS Larger Than Life Black Pencil Liner. I don't know if it's gonna focus. It will. Hmm. Where are you gonna put this? The bottom of the eye, right on top of the lid. Okay. Do I actually, okay, I one thing I do need to know is do I actually pass over the eyelash, or do I just go right under it? On the eyelash. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm so... What? I'm so... It's on. I'm just so cautious because it's so close to the eye. I can't do it with my left hand. And that would be the best way to do it, but it's too close to your eye. I don't want to... I'll do the other one. I'll be right back. All right, so eyeliner is done. He did this eye. I did this eye. Just a little bit at the bottom. Next, we're going to move on to the mascara. And it's by Monsieur Big, I think it's called. Yeah. Do you want me to look up or down? Yeah, up would be better. Sorry, I was like, which way is easiest to help? That actually helps right there. I like it. I like it. I like it. So, I think we did everything. So we went through the foundation. We did the, well, sorry. Started with the primer, did the foundation. I did, no, primer, eyeliner, foundation, concealer, got the lipstick, Got the eyelashes, got the eyeliner, did the eyebrows, I did the blush, and now I think the only thing I have left is the setting, or setter, whatever word is better. Ah, uh, they're on. Alright, let's get it. <laughs> Pretty proud of yourself, huh? Mm -hmm. So this one comes out more like an aerosol than that other one. So you can just spray, like, if you want to just... Oh, okay. So, I don't know how much there is to put. Now, do I have to blend this in at all afterwards? Mm -hmm. or? Okay. I'm spraying. Not too close. You can just hold it down and... Sh and the neck is blended. What do you know about that? A little bad. I think we're done. I like it. I think we're done. Check this out up close. This is it for the final face. I think he did pretty good for his first time. You happy with it? I am. He did a lot better than I thought. So. It's probably still terrible, but okay. No, I've seen worse. From other, the only thing, I, if I would have made you do my wings. Yeah. I think I probably could have done them. It ain't too late. Yeah. We thought we were done, but somebody's up for a challenge. You want a liquid or you want to use that? I got it. Okay. I got it. Somebody's feeling confident. Yeah, I mean, I draw. So, <laughs> what age did you start getting into makeup? Like real makeup or like lip gloss and stuff? Like real makeup. My 20s. When I got married. This I went to Victoria's Secret of all places to get makeup and do like a I know nothing about makeup can you guys show me what I could use for my wedding they laughed at me because they asked me about my skincare routine and it was literally whatever soap I used to wash my body with that's what I wash my face with 
and didn't use moisturizer, didn't use sunscreen, and the girl literally looked at me and was like, <coughs> so of course, girl? they did my makeup, and me not knowing anything about anything, I was like, okay, I'll take everything you just put on my face. And it still didn't even really look like anything. I didn't know how to do eyebrows, like none of that stuff. If you want to leave it like this, you can, or if you want to do full wing, you can, whatever you want. I'm gonna get a full wing. Okay. Might as well go big. But yeah, I didn't know anything about makeup at all. And in the beginning, it was so bad because I put shimmer on everything. The wing might mess it up, but I would want to try. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> no, the, the hard part is doing the exact same thing on the other side. I wouldn't even be able to do switching hands like that, so. I didn't know if I could, but I wanted to try it. Very brave. This side's good, that side's bad. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> because I can feel where you're putting it, and I'm just like... This is all good to have to do wings. <laughs> to try it though there's no way you can get rid of that can you get rid of what the uh wing the whole thing no just like a section <laughs> yeah don't look at it don't look at it don't look at it mm -hmm. well how i'm gonna get rid of it can i do it like what do you use that concealer you can't just wipe it off if you wipe it off you undo yeah oh all right do it with the right hand. Not worried? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looked like he was crying. That ain't good. Okay, I think I could probably fix it from here. Probably. That side I'm happy with. But I do need to darken it a little bit. So, I need to fill in from the bottom. This isn't a wing. <laughs> what? This isn't a wing. <laughs> Is that it? One more thing and I'm going to be good. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh. Now that looks like a wing. I use this. I can't really see it that well. I just want. I'm gonna use a dry brush. Okay. To kind of get rid of some of it. <laughs> this I is just... why I tell people: if you're in a rush, don't ever do wing liner if you're not good at it. Okay, that fixed that. Okay, I'm done with that. So now we're done. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and now he's exhausted. That's some work. I'm surprised he did it. So, this is our final phase. Lord. He decided to go the extra mile and give me my wings. I have seen a lot worse. And you cleaned it up. And you used your right hand and your left hand, which is crazy to me. But, good job. Not bad at all. How would you have done it? Like, What would you have done different? I would use a liquid liner, which I will show you the difference. So with a liquid liner, it's usually, it's literally like drawing with a marker. Oh my God. I told you. I said. So you draw your wing. And then it's a brush. Oh my God. Did I not ask? I didn't realize it would be that much easier. <laughs> Welcome to the world of makeup. All right, guys, this is it for the final look. I'm trying to lean in so you can see. He did pretty good. Except we, the wings. <laughs> we now know the difference between liquid liner and just a regular 
um, pencil liner, especially for wings. So I'm pretty proud of him. He did a good job. Colors look good. I would, I mean, y'all saw my Juvia's Place video. Kind of looked close to this. So not mad at it at all. How you feel about your work? I really like it actually. Um, I had to go back, as you saw, and fix the wings a little bit with the concealer. Um, but you know, I definitely would have used the liquid liner if I would have realized it was that much easier. I definitely would have used that. Other than that, I think everything else is pretty well. Only thing I think besides the eyeliner I would have done different might have been adding more concealer originally to maybe under the eyes. Maybe a little bit more to the forehead. Maybe. I think it looks good. I think I blended it pretty well. I made sure to get the neck and everything. So I think I did pretty good. Good job. All right. So that is it. We are going to head to the kitchen and finish cooking. Get ready to eat. Yes, We're going to work yes. out later. And I don't know what else. I'm just happy we finally got to do this video since we've been talking about it. Had fun, and I'm kind of impressed by his skills. They ain't mad at it. So I have been watching you for years. <laughs> this is true. Thank y'all for sticking with us to the end of the video. If you like how this turned out and you enjoyed learning a little more about me, a little more personal stuff, and finally meeting my son, then give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe. Bye. Oh, yeah. All that stuff that I always forget to say at the end. Subscribe. Like, share, post notifications, turn them on. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.